need a picture of that. Okay, so I'm going to try to not drag this off too long. I knew exactly what I was going to say as soon as she asked me to say something. Because I don't think I've ever told her about this dream that I had. When I was in college, in my junior year, I was really stressed out sometimes. And I very uncharacteristically fell asleep in the middle of the day and had this crazy dream. And one of the walks, I dreamed that Amy and I had gotten together and we went to some funeral. And I had no idea whose funeral you know it was, but it was just the two of us. And then, of course, the next thing I know, I'm dead. And it's my funeral. And maybe I'll do it. But I had that IO funeral too. I'm there as well. And I'm just kind of hanging out, having fun, watching everything go on. And a little while later, because time doesn't really work the same when you're dead, I ended up going into this garage in the middle of the day, a bright summer, almost spring like day, like a day. And there was this big truck waiting in this garage, much like the Yukon on Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> and I get into this truck in the passenger side, and it starts up all on its own. There's no one in the driver's seat. And all of a sudden, the garage door pulls up, and it starts pulling out, and it's in the middle of a blizzard. And I have no idea what's going on, but I feel comfortable, and we take this big U-turn, and we start going down this hill. And at the bottom of the hill, a huge pile of snow. And we just start gaining speed and going faster and faster. And I know we're going to hit this embankment. And as soon as we do, everything went black. No pain, right? So I want to go on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> a beautiful beach. And I see something playing out in the water. There's this monkey. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 